Hi, and welcome to another Inspiring Artists Worth Studying. Today I'm going to be talking about Akira Toriyama. Hi, my name is Lisa Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now, and I'm here to empower you. So, Akira Toriyama uh, is famous for the Dragon Ball Z series. Believe it or not, I'm not a big fan of Dragon Ball Z. I'm a very big fan of Dragon Ball. Uh, the original, uh, when when Goku was young, kind of uh, look and storyline, and it's and it's just because aesthetically, I, I I am more drawn to the cutesy stuff than I am to the more angular, super buff stuff. So let, let me let me just talk. Let me take a look, and I, I'm going to talk about this obviously from a very subjective point of view because this is uh, what I think and what I like, right? Uh, so I'm going to be pointing out the stuff that I personally like, and specifically about Toriyama. But, uh, well, let me let me get started here. So here we have Goku in the Dragon Ball Z style. And I think that uh, this is fine. I, I, one of the things that I do like about it, and here's, and, and uh, this is the thing that, that, that kind of, the aesthetic uh, of uh, Toriyama that I like is his shape design, like, like, like the 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 way that he he's so cartoony, right? He he he's not super um, uh, naturalistic. Uh, there is always an exaggerated, pushed uh, uh, cartooniness to his work. And so I do like, like for the for example, this shape here, how it's short and and uh, and wide here and then there's this long space here that is almost I think it's almost about equal to this but but this whole shape is way 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 bigger than this so um, I, I believe I have uh, in my well let me bring that up actually uh, I, I have in uh, on my website uh, I accidentally did the very same thing here. Uh, I wasn't really thinking about it, but but it, but the idea is that um, you you play with shapes, and once you play with shapes, uh, you you come up with variations because the, I, I, ideally, what you want to do when you are designing is you want to. Uh, contrast uh, as many shapes as you possibly can in order to come up with um, a unique, interesting, uh, appealing designs, right? And so in order to do that, you you come up with with just shape variations, like just uh, so that it's not all um, even. So I, I drew this in my website, uh, in, in the drawing website, as an example of some stick figures so that you can do the shapes. And notice this is the shape, see? Very small, and then like this shape is a triangle. Look, it's, I, and, and, and I hadn't even noticed I did that, it's just kind of because I'm playing around with shapes, like if I had but put everything evenly, right, uh, then it would have been much more much more dull. But since I I have this over here and this overlaps here and it's like nothing is even, this is smaller than this giant shape here. It makes it much more interesting. It creates a, an interesting, more aesthetically pleasing look. <laughs> look at this. This is the same thing. It's the exact same thing. It's like you got this triangle here, and then you got this upper shape, and it's, um, and that's one of the things that makes uh, Toriyama's uh, drawings really interesting. He 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 does play around with these kinds of shapes, right? Um, I also like his line quality and things like that, but um, things like this, and even the fa his 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 face, like the. It's 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 a it's the typical anime kind of large eyes small mouth kind of situation, but but again it's 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 the it's the exaggeration of the ears and the in the way that everything is the, the the giant head here like all these things the the 
the beauty of, of this kind of hair shape mass where it's just, uh, n there's n none of these things are um, the same. They're, they're, they're all different and they're all doing their own thing. This, this is smaller than this. This one's bigger. This is smaller over here. This is thinner. This is uh, a little bit thicker. This is the thickest. Then it goes back to being a little thin. Then there's a line right here to, to break things up. And then this one is a little shorter. And, and why? And this, you see what I'm saying? Like, so there's, there's this beautiful variation in all this stuff. And I love this really Astro Boy kind of thick um, um, cankles, right? I, I like the cankle uh, look where it's just ankle and, and calves out at the same time. Uh, I, it, the, this is the beauty of, of this sort of thing. Um, however, I actually like the more cartoony, cute, the, the, the more cutesy he gets, the more cartoony he gets, the better it is. This is almost, it, it's, it's pushed and it's great and I like it, but I actually prefer more of his cartoony stuff. Now, with with gals he, he kind of does the same thing and he does his the foreheads on these on these gals are <laughs> are kind of ridiculous like all his characters have these giant foreheads like like uh, and they're all because they all have like the big baby face one of the things that i um that i tell uh, a lot of the people that I'm, i i coach when if if they ever want to do an anime type style is is I, I point out that uh, part of the anime look is actually making all the people look like babies. Like <laughs> you give everybody baby proportions. You you do the gigantic forehead and the big eyes and the tiny little um, baby nose and baby mouth and then the cheeks. Right? It, it's it, that's it's not it. it these aren't um, adult proportions. They're all baby proportions. He's got baby proportions. He's got baby proportions. But he, these two characters have baby proportions because they're baby shapes, right? They're baby, they're, they're, they're cutesy little kids. Um, he doesn't have baby proportions. But overall, like, like that's, that's kind of... But the, this sort of like mass of hair that... that that that's created here like this sort of thing is just gorgeous just beautiful um uh, sh shape mass it's not, it doesn't have any uh it, that, it feels solid because it's on a head but really it's just a graphic and it's re really it's really great and I, like i said his line quality the way that he, he i think he uses a quill is just there's something about the way the the line quality of his work that I just absolutely love. And again, this is one of those things where it's like here's this shape, and then there's a big giant shape here, which contrasts with this torso shape, right? And then her head, her head in here, inside this mass, framed by this mass, is smaller than this shape here. So we've got a lot of interesting um, design. Uh, contrast uh, shape contrast that creates a very more a more aesthetically pleasing design uh, here we have a, uh, a drawing oh and so his machines they his machines also have that same kind of shape contrast but the thing is that he draws these really beautiful solid machines right uh, with the with beautiful perspective, all of it is working. I don't, I don't have the patience for this sort of thing, but I always have the admiration to see somebody actually do something as good as, as as this, where where they're where they're just making this really solid machine. And this, what what's beautiful about that is that um, that there's obviously a knowledge of perspective and this is something that uh, a lot of people shy away from especially when you're beginning because it's so technical but uh, you can't do something as beautiful as this without some kind of uh, competency in perspective uh, in fact like this is going this way and then you're looking up at this cloud here where Goku is 
do you see how you're looking up at him and it's sliding down this way so it's like this is the the horizon line and then it comes comes up and then we're all going to this vanishing point here so it's it's really beautiful and she is going in perspective along with this this uh, machine so she's really working uh, at, in space and then we've got these overlapping shapes here um, all the lines here are, are reinforcing the direction of all the shapes and this is coming out towards us so all of this is reinforcing all the shapes coming toward us and it's really important to um, to add the, the details in the right way so that it reinforces the form rather than details for details sake so um, this is part of the Dragon Ball manga and this is the kind of thing that uh, this is this is where I like it this is this is the look the Toriyama look that is my favorite this is where um, it's as cute as it could possibly be right it's so expressive so goofy and the 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 thing that appeals to me um, is that there's um there's like a like a kind of like a western aesthetic to it as in when, when I say western I mean these eyes are very much like something out of like a peanut car cartoon from Charles Schultz right um, it, it's very close to looking like like a Snoopy or Charlie Brown or something like that there is this kind of very simple uh, dots and in 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 C curves for the eyes. It, it doesn't have the overly rendered super tradition. Like like a, in the previous video, I spoke about Yukito Kushiro, and I spent a lot of time talking about the eyes and how solid the eyes were, and where uh, and how anatomically sound they were, in spite of the exaggeration. Well, this is the the it's not the opposite but it's like the um the the simplification of the eye as simplified as you can possibly get it right like like uh for example this eye is still solid he still that you could still feel that the, there's an eyeball in here right but this is the c curve that just encapsulates all that technical shape of the eye same here with this where it's just like this just kind of shows you the shape of the eye and then the pupil is on top of it and there's something about this look this simple baby face look that i absolutely adore while at the same time you've got these really solid looking hands look how beautiful those hands are drawn i mean this is a person who knows how to draw hands hands are one of the most complicated things you can possibly draw and look at this gorgeous, gorgeous hands, the way that they're drawn, the expression of the hands. Uh, this, he's, he's, he's masterful while, and, and in, his, in his simplicity, you can tell this guy knows how to draw really, really well. Simply because of not only the way that he draws the backgrounds, because again, the perspective is great, but also... Um, in its in his simplicity, you could see the solidity of the uh, of the the draftsmanship here. And look at this car; it's just so great. She's very uh, cute, and, and their shapes are really really fun, right? Look at these beautiful birds. This is so Japanese, so beautiful. So. Um, I'm not sure if this is Tariyama or done in the Tariyama style by some other artist, but this is actually, this is really beautiful too. Like uh, the, these cartoony characters are so great. And again, see, this is kind of almost like a Peanuts kind of eye shapes going on. We're looking up at him. We're seeing the, the teeth going in, receding in space. Uh, the uh, the arms here are are going around and and uh, and uh, wrapping around. All the details are wrapping around, showing you the the perspective of everything. One of the things that um, 
I kind of is not is not as aesthetically um, interesting to me is doing the 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 almost the Michelin Man kind of snowman kind of arms where this side is a, is an echo is a mirror image of this side. Um, I find that Toriyama tends to do that more often than not. Um, he doesn't always do it uh, all the time, but I find that um, it's it's an aesthetic that is it, it, it isn't horrible. It, it, uh, it, it was actually an aesthetic uh, from cartooning in the 1920s. Um, some of the first Western comic strips and things like that tended to have that kind of Michelin Man kind of thing. Um, just 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 think of Popeye's big giant wrist, which happened to be this kind of football kind of shape. And um, and so that's a, if if it's a deliberate choice, I have a friend who who does Nightmare Pro Wrestling. Uh, his name is John David Guerra, and he tends to do that uh, kind those kinds of bubble muscles on purpose, and it works so well in his comic strip. So I'm not gonna be like saying that this is a no-no. And I mean, you know, Akira uh, Toriyama does it, but. Um, most of the time, it's a good thing to try to avoid it uh, because it, it it's too repetitive. But there are styles and reasons if you choose to do it that it, it still works, right? If you know how to make it work, more power to you. Absolutely do it. But it's not something that um, I would just do all the time. It works under certain circumstances. And it is like a slightly more um, old school look. It gives it a more old school look to, to your cartoons. See, look, I love these expressions. I love the dynamism that he has in his, in his, in his, uh, his cartoons. <laughs> I just see that it's just making me laugh. Like this is such a such a hilarious face and look at these eyes look at the shape of the car of of these um of the of the eyes and the expressions here and and uh, again the, the shapes of the uh, of his hands and i think part of the reasons here here's an example of that uh, shape aesthetic that i i tend to most of the time frown upon right but at the same time here's the thing i think it works because this is small and this is large, see? So the shape contrast in these is, is part of the reason why it tends to work. Also, for example, here it's not quite the same kind. It's not the, this is a little bit straighter and this is a little bit more curved. This is a little bit straighter, this is more curved. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, like so it's not super consistent in, in, its, um, in its roundness. There's still almost like a straight versus curve feel to it. This feels a little bit straighter and this feels a little bit more curvy. And that's one of the reasons why this feels uh, it feels good. Well, but, but it's not consistent because I think this is almost exactly mirror imaged here, right? But in part, in, 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 uh, in all of this is just to show um, that this is going backwards in space. But these two, sh these shapes here, are almost mirror image and this these two shapes are mirror image um, so it's it's you could get away with it you, you and, and, and I mean it isn't like an awful awful thing but it's not something that um, it's a choice it's a choice uh, that you want to make on your own and look at this look at this hand this is gorgeous it's just so good so Toriyama like these cartoony, the, the cartooniness of Toriyama's work is what I absolutely adore. Um, the charm, the aesthetic, um, the appeal of these characters, uh, of his drawings, um, it's, it's absolutely amazing while still being a solid, solid draftsmanship, right? Uh, great expressions of <laughs> this goofy monkey here. Uh, but but again, it's it's just he he what what I part of what I want you to to take away from this is that um, 
even though you're doing cartoony and simplified, doesn't mean that it doesn't have to be well drafted, right? So this is still very solid and very well drafted, and it still has all the the technical draftsmanship correct in spite of its cartooniness. It's in, in fact one of the reasons why these things um, are so, I don't want to say believable, are so um, convincing uh, as, as, as emotive as, as the world is convincing, like the characters are convincing characters. Uh, are, they are, it's in part because all the draftsmanship is there. It's all working. And, and even when it's just like almost symbolic and, and, and goofy here, like, like he's just running. And notice also that he's running correctly. Uh, oftentimes when you see a person um, um, who's really not paying attention when they're, when they're doing a, a, a running pose, they tend to have like, for example, this arm will be up and then the other leg. So like that, this is, let's say this is the right, uh, this, our right. So let's see, this right arm is up and so is the right leg, right? But that's not how we run. Right arm up left leg up uh, and then left arm up right leg up behind right so uh, too often I've, i see people having the person run and then their leg is at both leg and arm on the same on the same side or up and that's that's wrong this is a well drawn observational run drawing running drawing um, but at the same time, it's cartoony and cute and expressive. And then we've got another expressive uh, drawing, and this is well composed. We've got like the bushes in the foreground, and so is Goku here. And then we have like the creature with um, uh, Bulma here, and it's just it's it's fantastic. Another Goku. Uh, and again, some, something about the line quality, the way that it looks, is just absolutely beautiful. I just love the way that looks. So, but again, um, very simple eyes, uh, great uh, perspective here, uh, beautiful drawn hands, um, fantastic. And then finally, I think, oh no, this is not the final drawing I got here. But um, again, another very expressive coming in here and stuff. And this is, I think, a, a um, it looks like marker, a marker drawing. Uh, but there's some watercolor in here. I don't know. Uh, but just just great. Very, very expressive. Very simple shapes. But at the same time, you could you could see that he's thinking about the roundness of the eyes and where the pupils are going to go. Um, and I think this is... And finally, this is the, the last of, uh, of the drawings uh, here um, where he, we see Goku... Um, really uh, smashing through the there's a lot of energy going on here uh, straights and curves and all kinds of stuff going on um, it's beautiful beautiful work uh, very expressive oh, and Toriyama Toriyama is is somebody that is is worth um, just kind of um, copying some of his drawings just to get that kind of appeal that he's got and maybe even try to get that aesthetic of the the line quality from from if you have a if you have a dip pen with a quill and see if you could try to match that line quality because it's so gorgeous, um, beautiful stuff. I it's one of the things. Man, Toriyama is my go-to guy to get inspired when I'm doing any kind of um, chibi thing or or something uh, like my my um, my. Uh, Black Terror Kid comic. Uh, I uh, whenever I'm I'm ready to do Black Terror Kid, I look at Toriyama just to uh, even though my Black Terror Kid is is not quite in that style. It, it, it there's something about the early Dragon Ball Toriyama stuff with baby kind of young Goku and the goofiness of it that is. That, that is very energizing, very exciting, and, and, and there's something about it that, that, that gets me all revved up so I could um, uh, get going and try to capture some of that life and energy and fun, right, of, of, of Toriyama. He's, 
he is both um, using the anime aesthetic, but it's almost um, it's almost more influenced by Western cartooning than by um, uh, what we generally think as as um, anime, and and I think that he shares a lot. Um, with Osama Tezuka in that way, where Osama Tezuka's cartooning was very influenced by Western comic strips, uh, and it, of the of the early twenties and thirties and things like that, and uh, like like Popeye com uh, com comic strips and things like that, and I think. Toriyama has that same kind of aesthetic, and 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 it's and it's and it's great because it's it's a mix of East and West that really makes his his uh, cartooning uh, pop. So let me talk about some of the recommended books. I and and I don't know how much I would recommend this one though. Well, let me let me just begin with this. So I got this Akinakania in um, Little Tokyo over here in L.A. a long time ago. So I don't know. This is Akira Toriyama Illustrations, and it comes with a. It's called the the World Special. I don't even know if you can get this here. I'm gonna look this up on Amazon to to link to this book if you're interested in it. But um, one of the things that I uh, that I've used this uh, book for the most. And here is Toriyama, apparently, uh, using his quill, right? Is, uh, is to look at the way that he colors his, his drawings. And so we have a picture of uh, photos of him uh, using the quill. And then using watercolor to color and I color a lot in watercolor I love love the watercolors and uh, uh, I find them easier to use than say marker so when I look at the way that he's coloring his drawings in uh, with with the watercolors um, or maybe these are inks who knows? I, I can't. I can't read Japanese, so I can't tell if we will. But he, some of these look like they're inks, maybe, because they're so vibrant. But they also could be watercolor. So I really like looking at this book because I like looking at the way that these things are are colored, uh, as well as I like looking at this. Uh, because of the cartoony, like like this, this is just so cartoony. Just love that look, right? That that super pushed, cartoony look. Like like this is this is my favorite stuff of Toriyama is when he goes full cartoony, um, really pushed stuff. Um, like I said, uh, I once Goku gets older and everybody's super buff, um, it's okay to me. But I would much rather see the, the super cartoony pushed cutesy stuff. That's the stuff that I like the most, right? But it's got stuff about his... We've got pictures of all his tools. Um, he's got like... Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's a good... Uh, like I said, I don't know if I can... Uh, you could find this book. I'll look for it. I'll look for a link to it. And if you don't see a link to it in the description of this video... It's because I there there's no way to there's I couldn't find any any uh, any way to to link to this book because um, it might be out of print or something. Like I said, I got this in Kinnikania in Little Tokyo years and years and years ago. There's some drawing, there's some pencil drawings, and it's in a fancy slipcase and everything. So this is a really fun book, but I'm sure I'm going to, if I can't find a link to Toriyama's 
uh, to this book. I'll, I'll, I'll look for some, some Toriyama art, art of books or something like that that might be just as good as this one. But if, but for sure, for sure, you could get these, uh, these, the Dragon Ball uh, comics, uh, the manga, which are just like these phone book thick uh, compilations of 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 Dragon Ball, and it, and it goes from Dragon Ball to Dragon Ball Z, I, and uh, but but you've got all the. These gorgeous, gorgeous cart like this is so, so inspiring to me. Like, like this stuff is just like the best. Like, I love these this this cartoon style. I love the appeal of the characters. It's it's just absolutely gorgeous. Like you just, it's just a feast to the eyes to look at at, at these at these cartoons these, these cartoony characters and how expressive they are how goofy they are uh, look at this dude look at this dude <laughs> it's just, he's just awesome he just cracks me up he's so goofy looking and it's just gorgeous express uh, it's just this is this is one of my all-time favorite um, comics just to look at uh, for whenever I'm going to be doing anything that's slightly cartoony this is this these are my go-to to just look at them and just like absorb and then get all excited and then just get ready to start drawing myself right so though all, all, all of these books are going to be in the description of this video if you're interested in any of them uh, at least the manga I don't know about the other stuff the other one I'll, I'll have other books but um thanks for watching i hope this has gotten you interested in looking into akira toriyama's uh, artwork and i will talk to you next time